Oh, yo. Yo, I was, I, was, I was about to hit the engine. Let's go. We out. Urban fishing at its best. Unidentified matter. <laughs> Don't even touch that, bro. Don't even. Hey, man, you dripping that juice in the boat, man. That, that's toxic. It's dripping on your phone, man. Move your phone. Oh my gosh. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, Bass Brothers Fishing. We are out on the Potomac River today, bright and early. Expecting some high winds today. It is high tide right now. So this is a tidal river. It's almost 7 a.m. We got 79 degree water temps. It's gonna get up to 90 degrees today. So it's gonna be hot. Warren and I have been out quite a bit recently. Haven't had much success, at least worth posting a video for. We've caught some fish, but no real numbers or size. For me, I've had a lot of fishing tragedies, a lot of breakoffs and this has never happened before I'm up to seven breakoffs in a row believe it or not and it's been playing in my head so today first goal is to set that hook and don't break off on a fish matter of fact check out the footage right now of all the breakoffs I've had recently I think it's seven getting bites oh broke off it broke off yeah he was on what is that Texas rig. Yep. You can take front. <laughs> I'm gonna go take another 30 minute break. Put myself in punishment. Damn. Oh my gosh. Oh, yo. That was a bigger fish. What the f man? He it got heavy and he went down. Might have been a catfish or something. Bruh, I'm gonna run out of weights and hooks in a second. Yo, one more and yeah, I'm I'm seriously, I'm gonna just drive the boat for you. Yep. That man, no way, no way, Warren, no way. It broke off? Yeah. I didn't check my line. That's Bruh. the third fish, man. That's the third fish. <sighs> I don't know what I did to deserve this, man. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Goes sideways. I saw it. I saw it. Bruh. I saw it. I waited. I saw the thing go yeah. sideways. He straight pulled my nose down. I, I cannot it. have breakoffs day after day. Oh, you saw that? Hmm? I saw your line. It was going sideways. I'm not even setting the hook hard. So guys, as you can see, the pain I just went through. That's what I'm out to do, is to get that bad juju off the boat, off of me. Funny thing is, Warren actually broke off twice in a row that same day too. So it was just something that was not making sense at all. Tied new knots, everything. Leader knots, bait knots. I'm just gonna call it a bad stretch. And hopefully that ends today. Let me check my drag. My drag's a little loose. Set the hook on nothing. Mark the dog. Man, I feel this on my arm. Jeez, I'm out of shape. <laughs> Man, I'm out of shape, dude. All right, I'm going whopper. I want to create more commotion. Oh, look at you, baby. You ready, baby? You ready? Oh, you ready? Look at all that. Look at all that. This is the middle size one. Wow. Wow. Snapping turtle? I'm sure. That is a big mofo. There he goes, about to go down. Yeah, he's taking his time. He's like, you in my house. Nothing like the sound of traffic while you're fishing. I didn't even set the hook. I just raised up. I'm trying to keep pressure on him. He took it right away. Ah, we gotta get him in. 
Ah, oh, crap. He's saying, move, 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 move. Come over here. Come over here. Over here, over here, over here. Yep. Scoop him, scoop him. Ah, yeah. Very nice. Woo. Man. He took it instantly. Guys, I switched over to the, went old school with the spinner bait. I was throwing the chatter bait. You guys know I love to throw that bait. And uh, was getting no love. Took a little break, we tied a couple liters, ate some crackers. That's my breakfast. Tying the spinner bait. Decided to go throwback. Nice guy. This is probably a solid two. Feels pretty heavy. Beautiful fish. We've been fishing about almost an hour and a half. Did the entire perimeter all the way around here, nothing. They hit it right in this corner, literally right in that corner. So throw in there, maybe pull another one out. Wanna get a quick weight on him. Oh wow, 287. Yeah. All right guys, three pounder, 287 to be exact. Awesome fish, tugging hard, nice river, large mouth bass right here. Thank you. Awesome catch to kick off the day. Hopefully we can keep this thing going. Bye, baby. I saw you went for that net quick once you heard me say. Yeah, once you said uh, that the hook, no hook set. Right. <laughs> you went straight in. <laughs> Sweet. Literally, he's right in this corner. Oh gosh. One? Yeah, I'm telling you, right in that corner, dude. Oh, he, okay. No. Little guy. You got him. Wow. <laughs> back to right back, back to back cast. I'm like, yeah, right in that corner. Pull us out again. Wow. I'm telling you, they're schooled up in this little pocket. Little pocket right there. That is crazy. Fish number two. Back to back cast. And he's trailer hooks. Oh, he wasn't coming off at all. That's why I said he looked like he's pegged. Yeah, it's it's actually in there sideways. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're right back in there. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. You got a big and a small in there. Look at that. Awesome looking fish. Very beautiful. Nice green colors. Yeah, very clean. Clean youngin. <laughs> Showing off. That'll be crazy. That'll be a first. Right. right there, man. That is too funny. Oh, no, the bottom, bottom, bottom. Bottom. Those fish are like, nah, we get it. You pull out two. We know what's going on. Always nice to get something on a back to back cast. Keeps the blood flowing. Decided to switch colors also. That was another change I made. So far I was throwing a black, black and red chatterbait and a black whopper popper. So I went dark colors because the water's pretty murky, but then decided to go white. Also works in murky water and we got wind. So things kind of played out the way they should. And we know they don't always play out the way they should, you know, fishing textbook, but Glad that glad to get those two in. Warren made a point. Just we were both thinking like just this looks very juicy. Like there's no way the fish can't be back here. Good old river bass. Pulling up to spot number two. Got two at spot number one. Caught a fish right here before, right on this along this log. And then one or two along this bank here. Gonna try this out. Throw a couple baits out there and then hook around. Under that bridge is a whole cove little bit down to the right that we've actually never fished before try that out so still tossing around the spinner bait we've got some wind the boats rolling around pretty good out here got a little uh, not even a little bit of chop got some decent chop in the water getting rough out here <laughs> literally just going to drift this bank and cut under that bridge it should be calm in there or calmer oh something just hit it right here and broke me off literally right here oh man i lost my spinner bait literally right in front of the boat it went shook 
There goes my spinner. All right, lost my spinner bait. I've actually caught quite a few fish on that one, so that doesn't feel good. Something just took it and went straight down, broke me off probably on one of the rocks or something. So I'm gonna pull out another one. I may fish something else, but we'll figure it out. Next time I come out for the boat, which will be probably early this week or whenever you work. What is that? Bro, something black has just swam over there like a snakehead. Snakehead probably. Yeah, literally something. I literally watched it swim away. It's right next to it, right here. Yep, there it is. Damn it! You see the size of that thing? Go, go back in, go back in, go back in. I just said you see the... He, he got it. Ah, I broke off. Nine, I broke off. Bro, you see the size of that thing? What did you throw at him? Chatterbait. He came at it the second time. He got it. He took it. That is an aggressive snakehead, man. And then he came back for the second time. Let's see if there's another one back there. You literally went right back in and he took it again and jumped out the water and broke it off. No, I saw it. I saw it. I'm not even throwing the right bait right now. Wow. What color um, chatterbait? Still the same color? The black one? Yeah, that was nice. I would not expect that snakehead to be right there. He was, un see what that, that what, like wood looking thing is that's floating? It literally went from that rock right underneath it. Just a quick update. So far, fishing has been a little bit slow. Only got two fish to show. One nice one, almost a three pounder. Uh, both fish were back to back cast on a spinnerbait, white spinnerbait, hugged up close to the bank in a little shaded pocket. Uh, so that might be a piece of the puzzle. We've been fishing a little bit over three hours. The time went by really, really fast. Uh, we're in a whole sex separate cove right now. It's pretty big. You guys can see it's pretty expansive all the way around. Never been back here before fishing some new water, but we'll figure it out. We'll probably move around quickly and try to just try to see if we see anything that we like. Warren just missed a huge, well actually broke off on a huge snakehead. Um, hmm. That was tough. It was very tough. I know it was. Considering I saw him moving and then missed him on the first hook set and then went back in and broke off on the second one. He came back, it was very aggressive. Very aggressive snakehead. Came completely back for the bait when he cast it right back. We should cast right in there. Too better right on top of it. But yeah, guys, we this is gonna be a short day. It's gonna hit 90 plus degrees. We're gonna get out of here by one o'clock, so let's get back at it. Is that a fish? I think I saw something black right here just slowly go down. Right here. What is that? Whoa, right here at the boat. Mm -mm. I still got my rod in my hand. He took it right at the boat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I was like, oh, he choked bro. that. Did it like right here. Yeah. Nice fish. Yeah, wow. a little fat guy. Naeem just said he saw something black moving over there, so I decided to throw over there, and then this guy jumped on it near the boat. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. You ain't helping the situation, bro. It was touching his gills. I'm gonna let him go. I ain't even messing with him. I'm not even messing with him, huh? All right, I'm not gonna play with you, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. Thank you for biting. Nice fish. Fish number three, man. About a pound and three quarters, two pounder. Sweet. What a short but awesome day out on the Potomac River. Felt really good to finally get that bad juju off me and get to sticking some fish and getting them in the boat. I'm telling you guys, breaking off seven times in a row is pretty demoralizing. Can't wait to get back out on the Potomac River. Such an awesome body of water to fish. As always, stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next one.